In this example, you are required to design the circuit given on your screen to establish a DC drain current ID equals 0.5 milliamperes. VDD is to be 15 volts and the MOSFET characteristics are also on your screen. After you have done that, you are also supposed to calculate the percentage change in ID when VT equals 1.5 volts. The rest of the characteristics of the MOSFET remain the same. So let's do this. As a rule of thumb, we choose RD and RS to provide one third of the power supply voltage VDD as a drop across each of RD, the transistor, and RS. This would mean that VD equals 10 volts and VS equals 5 volts. So what is our Q point? Our Q point is VD equals 10 volts and ID equals the given 0.5 milliamperes. Now we find the values of RD and RS. Both come out to be 10 kilo ohms. We also need to find the values for RG1 and RG2. However, that would be impossible without knowing the value for VG. So for that we need to find VGS. Using the equation for current, we find the overdrive voltage to be 1 volts. Now finding VG is pretty straightforward. And VG comes out to be 7 volts. Let me write it here. Now it becomes easy to find RG1 and RG2. We choose a simple voltage divider and find that RG1 equals 8 mega ohms and RG2 equals 7 mega ohms. Why did we choose mega ohms? We could have chosen kilo ohms. The reason is that this part of the circuit should present a large input resistance to a signal source that may be connected to the gate through a coupling capacitor. The coupling capacitor blocks DC and hence stops the input signal from interfering with the Q point. But we are not going to go into too much detail right now, but we will do so in later lessons in the same module. Anyhow, you should observe that the DC voltage at the drain, that is the Q point, which is 10 volts, allows for a positive signal swing of plus 5, that is up to VDD, and a negative signal swing of minus 4, that is still VG minus VT minus VD, that is minus 4 volts. So that is pretty healthy. Now, moving on to the next part. That is the percentage change in ID. We write two equations that will help us solve this. Here they are. But hold on. Why is VGS again an unknown quantity? Didn't we just calculate it to be 2 volts? The reason is that when ID changes, VGS also changes. Because the change in the ID is driven by a change in VGS. But we have fixed VG to be 7 volts. So, VGS is also unknown and we have to calculate that. Solving them simultaneously gives us the value of ID to be 0.455 milliamperes. Therefore, the percentage change in ID will be minus 9%. The new value of VGS is 2.45 volts. Now get ready for a quiz.